The things hardest to bear are sweetest to remember. We should not like sheep follow the herd of creatures in front of us making our way where others go, not where we ought to go. Silence is a lesson learned through life's many sufferings. Life is like a play it's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. A gem cannot be polished without friction nor a man perfected without trials. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past neglect the present and fear the future life if well lived is long enough. No evil propensity of the human heart is so powerful that it may not be subdued by discipline. Enjoy present pleasures in such a way as not to injure future ones. Until we have begun to go without them we fail to realize how unnecessary many things are we've been using them. Not because we needed them but because we had them. A man who suffers before it is necessary suffers more than is necessary. If you live in harmony with nature you will never be poor if you live according to what others think you will never be rich. Wealth is the slave of a wise man the master of a fool. To be everywhere is to be nowhere. What really ruins our character is the fact that none of us looks back over his life. Anger if not restrained is frequently more hurtful to us than the injury that provokes it. Only time can heal what reason cannot. To bear trials with the calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. Our plans miscarry because they have no aim when a man does not know what harbor he is making for no wind is the favorable wind. Most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. Be wary of the man who urges an action in which he himself incurs no risk. True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. The mind that is anxious about the future is miserable. The greatest remedy for anger is delay. Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. If you really want to escape the things that harass you what you're needing is not to be in a different place but to be a different person. Time discovers truth. As long as you live, keep learning how to live. To be always fortunate and to pass through life with a soul that has never known sorrow is to be ignorant of one half of nature. All cruelty springs from weakness. The bravest sight in the world is to see a great man struggling against adversity. While we are postponing, life speeds by. We are more often frightened than hurt and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. It is not the man who has too little but the man who craves more, that is poor. You act like mortals in all that you fear and like immortals and all that you desire. Sometimes even to live is an act of courage. It is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. The life we receive is not short but we make it so we are not ill provided but use what we have wastefully. Begin at once to live and count each separate day as a separate life. He who was brave is free. Associate with people who are likely to improve you. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. Religion is regarded by the common people as true by the wise is false and by rulers as useful. We learn not in school but in life. Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. To wish to be well is a part of becoming well. He who has injured thee was either stronger or weaker than thee, if weaker spare him, if stronger, spare thyself. What can happen at any time can happen today. The part of life we really live is small for all the rest of existence is not life but merely time. No man was ever wise by chance. There is no enjoying the possession of anything valuable unless one has someone to share it with. You are lonely, not because no one needs you, but because you care about whom is next to you. Don't let yourself be controlled by three things people money or past experience. If we could be satisfied with anything we should have been satisfied long ago. Often a very old man has no other proof of his long life, than his age. Of this one thing make sure against your dying day that your faults die before you do. 
The greatest blessings of mankind are within us, and within our reach a wise man is content with his lot, whatever it may be without wishing for what he has not. Ignorance is the cause of fear. When a person spends all of his time in foreign travel, he ends by having many acquaintances but no friends.